Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your dose of zombies news from the game and community here on COD Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Let's get right into it. The main easter egg for the Alpha Omega DLC 3 map was solved in a record 9 hours. I mean, I basically chalked that up to the fact that the map is so small that to have these extended easter egg hunt durations like we did for Blood of the Dead just can't exist because the map is so small that people will figure things out so much quicker. But there was a really interesting detail noticed in the ending cutscene of the map. Now, for whatever reason, and it's been debated why this is, whether this is an artistic choice or whether this was kind of brought about because of budget constraints at Treyarch, they decided for the first time in a very long time to go with animatics for their ending cutscene and not the in-game rendered versions that we've been used to. Within this ending cutscene, during it we can see this screen here. And what's interesting about this screenshot, if we look in the background at the Ultimus Richtofen standing there, it seems like this is actually an asset made by a modder for Black Ops 3. Ray Ortizy Ghosts is the author of the Ultimus crew mods for Black Ops 3. He made some changes to the default Ultimus characters, including changing Ultimus Richtofen's hat color and his armband. You can see the original on screen now and what it looks like in the ending cutscene. So it seems like what happened was the artists working on the ending cutscene probably just Googled Ultimus Richtofen found this image, was able to crop it out of its background, place their own effects on it, and slap it into the cutscene. Now in terms of exposition on this kind of cutscene secret, it, it's kind of funny that in a map that's heavily being criticized for reusing so many assets from other maps within Black Ops 4 that the ending cutscene reuses assets from another game. In terms of the original mod creator Ray or TZ Ghost, he's saying, hey, it's cool that it's just being used in the map. Obviously, it's the likeness of their own intellectual property, their character, so what can you do? It's just cool that it's being used in the ending cutscene. And it might be an interesting detail to point out to your friends if and when you do end up being the Alpha Omega main easter egg. Speaking of easter eggs, for what this map lacks in size, it's definitely helping to slowly make up for that with depth. There was three new side easter eggs found today. I'll give you a quick rundown of what they are and what they do so you can decide if you want to learn them via the tutorials linked down in the description. The first one from Invalid offers a spin on the mannequin easter egg on the map that spawns a permanent mannequin that's very similar to the easter egg how it was in Black Ops 3 until this easter egg is completed and when it is you are rewarded with one free self revive whether that be solo or co-op, it works for both, but you get one free self-revive when you complete this easter egg. Tutorial link down in the description if you want to check it out after this vid. Mini easter egg number two comes from Glitchy Queen, where she shows you that if you enter a specific combination into the computer on the map, it will choose randomly out of all the doors that you haven't yet opened on the map and make one free. So this could help make opening up the map just a little bit easier and hey, if you're interested in doing the easter egg at a super low round, this could help you get one extra door open early. And the third side easter egg and the most expansive is called Insanity Mode. The specific tutorial I'll link to you in the description is from Mr. Raffle Waffles. But this easter egg involves spawning in a purple orb onto the map, then following it around the map until it reaches a certain position above the APD. You knife a TV with the Bowie knife, it gives you a code, you put the code into the computer, and when you do, and all players have to agree to this, you will be sent to round 200 with the map restricted to the original Nuketown Zombies layout. This is insanity mode where the zombies run super fast, almost akin to the special mannequin round if you watched the last video on the channel. I know that for me personally, when my friends get a chance to play the map next Tuesday over on the PC, I'm gonna make them do this easter egg not tell them what it does and just see their reaction. But anyways guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But I want to thank you once again for watching and I'll see you with another Zombies video tomorrow. Peace. Hey.